these food grade tankers, you should be loading at about 80 degrees is how warm the tank should be. And then when the product loads, it's gonna be about 120 to 140. So the way that this is kept warm and hot inside is there's about six inches of insulation all around the tank on the inside. Outside of that, you have tubes that run back that carry your coolant from the engine. And the way that operates is it comes in from here is your connection. Here's from the engine. It comes in through here and it actually feeds through this unit here. And then it goes into the intake, goes back through the tank, comes back out this way into the return. Now you'll feel that these are going to be hot so that you know you have a good temperature. And then beyond that, you can look at your gauge and see what it's, the temperature is pulling in at. So you want to feel that they're hot, and then you have a temperature gauge on the side that you want to monitor. And that's your basic working of the heat lines for tanks.